haven't quite found the rhythm to their play yet. My kiss once more. Her name's already off the line, and she's going to the... I think she might have hurt her hamstring there. Was it the top of her knee? She was holding the back of her leg. Let's have another look. She stretched awkwardly. She's got studs in her, in her calf, but she's holding... Her deliveries in deep positions have been very good. And there's a little flick on by Bergamashi, but she got that one all wrong. So they, they get the... This is Anima. No left foot at the moment, and that was a pretty weak cross. That's a good hit. Oh, terrific strike. Good save as well from Vivian Brad. That I think it has to be said, their individual play has been much better than the German team. They've been creative. Certainly not afraid to take players on. He is organising a wall. Vivier's going to hit this straight at her. She just snaffles it up right at touchline. See on the left of your picture in a moment as Germany come forward and referee lets that challenge go. With that fabulous strike that was saved by Brandt. Here is Avan Bieler. Good delivery, good header down, and it's in. And having made two wonder saves, Vivian Brandt, I think, is slow to get across. Oh, they can't believe it, they're in front. Good delivery. Well, that's interesting. They've touched it to Amphibea, and she's had a go from a long way out, but score of the quarterfinal from earlier on today as Amphabia under pressure by Marinelli referee's having a look is she going to give the free kick Diamante is there and Nane swings it clear as far as Risa thinking around though Gane and free kick here now final few seconds we should get about uh, two possibly three minutes of additional time here him hasn't been very good I think they need to do it better from the front and they need to turn Garner over in the deeper areas. Goalkeeper Otume Adams does not instill much confidence on this performance, at least. Now you can see why Piemonte decided that she was going to have a go at go at goal, and I think you might see a bit more of that. From I'm runner. thinking why isn't she in athletics? Well, then football's much better. <laughs> <laughs> Some people... There you go, you heard it first here. Why are they in athletics? Football's better. Well, no, but... <laughs> Some people are gregarious and they like team Absolutely. sports more. This is Anima. There goes Marinelli again. Quick look up by Marinelli. She's offside, is she? Piemonte, there was no flag there. She didn't get the ball, though. I'm sure if she did... Kabikia. And from Bia. Onto the head of Bertin. Nibel Lawrence, who can really bomb down that wing, but we haven't seen the best of her yet. Oh, Metivier in a really tight hole there. It's got to be a bit more of the unexpected. And that's as easy for Durante. Kind of beating North Korea 2-0, but North Korea have got a great record in this tournament over the years, and 2-0 against Ghana doesn't look such a bad result now, does it? So they will come armed for... Stratigatis, Fleming, just closed down there and hurried her pass. And is going to hit one. Oh, and it's off the crossbar. The goalkeeper lost it. Taking place at the same time. And for Bayer, who can really strike them. Well, Daliwal has gone to the 
center of defense. And Metivier has gone to right back. Offside. Uh, to Wilcock. Maybe. But the first Justice one was not a penalty one, in then. any yeah, in any shape or form. Should be helping like that. That would have definitely snuck in. Well, she lost it was it, under the she? bar. She lost where it was, lost the position. Against them. Or whether it just is going to be one of those days where it isn't their day. But she didn't a long score. way to go. So it's yeah. the same. And for Bia. Side just. There's Foster. Launches it long, but a little bit aimlessly. Nibel Lawrence. This is Arabia. She got to the same ball there. One was Arabia. Well, it seems a while ago now that Canada were involved in the CONCACAF qualifiers, but it was an absolute breeze into a game. Sometimes it's about willpower and force of will and things that that's not really as prevalent as it, at this level as it would be at a more senior level. Our uh, Fry gang is going to come on, and the problem for Bernhard, in a way, is this is her final sub with over half an hour to go. Field with a throw. In the German corner. And cleanly. Getting his message across in clear and concise terms. Piamonte. Drops to. It is. Needs a bit of assistance, and she isn't going to get it from Simonetti. It's beginning to get the feeling there might be a few tired legs out there. But pretty well. Here's Amphibert. Sent. And it would be two wins out of two, and it would be uh, Ghana pretty much through. This is when the testing time is going to come. They are sat back now, just allowing the Ghanaians to have possession on the halfway line. There's the Amphobia to try and build for Ghani. Their teenage girls on. Jones might just get that back. A strong challenge made sure that she did. Back it comes again, Amphobia. Is she going to have a shot here? There's the angle. Still there, it's a great save. Oh, what a great piece of goalkeeping that. Fingertips there was better, but the flag was up by then. Here's Jones. Ran into trouble there, and the throw has gone against her. Jones has got to get back now, but Daliwal has seen the death. Zaini. And the full width of this. In fact, Azumi Adams gets rid of two goalkeeping cliches in one go, doesn't she? Because it was always uh, African goalkeepers and female goalkeepers, and she proves that uh, she's been excellent. And I've seen it throughout the age group. In this tournament in particular, goalkeep the standard of goalkeeping has gone up another notch. To be taken again. That's gone beyond Jones again, and this time... <laughs> Marinelli into the penalty area. Zaka's back to make sure there's a 
Nathan going to drop.